Let's talk for a moment about uh, William Wordsworth and Romanticism. Now, Romanticism, as you've no doubt started to figure out, has nothing to do with our 20th century ideas of romance. No, instead, Romanticism in Wordsworth's time refers to new ideas. It referred especially to, well, revolution. Our American Revolution itself was a romantic idea. The idea of throwing off the old, getting rid of the kings and queens, and establishing a uh, government based on the individual man. And that's at the very heart of Romanticism. The individual man and his worth. So, Wordsworth poetry, which uh, just on first glance might be viewed as just sort of simple nature poetry has a great, great deal of strength going on beneath that uh, apparently simple nature, uh, nature exterior. The poem that you've been particularly asked to look at, My Heart Leaps Up When I Behold, is an ideal example of Wordsworth's strengths and of his philosophy. Okay, how does the poem go? I think you were asked to find what uh, what's the the line in the, po the poem that uh, most relates to his philosophy. My heart leaps up when I behold a rainbow in the sky. Okay, a pretty enough image. Um, I feel this great feeling when I look at the sky and I see a rainbow. Well, who doesn't? So was it when my life began, so is it now I am a man. And that's where we go to the heart of it. So was it when my life began? Because Wordsworth and his friend Coleridge had this idea that it's when we're young people that we really feel things. That uh, when we're young, I mean, older people might just say, well, that's hormones or something. You look at a rainbow and, and you feel uh, this big surge of, a, surge of emotion. I don't feel anything when I look at a rainbow. But Wordsworth thought that young people were in contact with something when they saw that beautiful thing in nature, whatever it was, uh, a rainbow, a forest glen, uh, a deer, whatever, that they made this contact with the universal in humanity. And you could only hold that feeling for just a moment. And then it's gone. Everything fades into the light of common day, as Wordsworth put it. And he thought that children understand this. Children are capable of wonder and connection. He thought that really it's as children we come into the world and children we have this great connection to the universe. And as we get older, we lose that connection. And he thought that it was up to us as poets in this case to maintain that connection, to remain open to the universe, to, uh, to nature, to feel our connection with the universal and the eternal. He says, so is it now I am a man? He's been able to hold on to that feeling. So be it when I grow old or let me die. And ironically enough, uh, Wordsworth lived a very long time, much longer than the other Romantic poets, and he became a successful older man, the poet laureate of England, but didn't do anything really important in his life after his youth. And it's his youth that we look back to as being so important to us in the study of, uh, the study of literature. The child is father of the man. Could that be the line? The child is father of the man. When we are children, we know it, we have the connection, we have the feeling, and if we're lucky, we hold on to that when we are adults or we forget it. So the child is father of the man. And I could wish my days to be bound each to each by natural piety, by piety for nature, really. Okay, that, I think, is at the heart of Wordsworth. Uh, Wordsworth, who we know was in love with an ordinary woman, with someone named uh, uh, Lucy, a woman that he loved out of wedlock. And you notice uh, that he uses Lucy a number of times in the poems that you're 
that you're looking at. Uh, sometimes in the poem uh, he gives Lucy to the name of a child, but other times it's clear that he's referring to the woman that he had this other kind of romantic, uh, romantic feeling for. And all of this going on with a backdrop of the French Revolution. And the English, uh, the gentry were extremely afraid of the French Revolution. After all, those Americans across the Atlantic had just turned over uh, the king, the power of kings and queens. The French across the water the other day had just beheaded most of their gentry. So now they were afraid that the common English people might want to do the same thing in England. The child is father of the man. Well, I hope you enjoy. Uh, Wordsworth's poetry. It is very powerful when you look at it carefully. Thank you.